also the owner, and she bought the farm and started the rescue. She's been rescuing for 20, 30 years on her own. There isn't a place like this. This is unique. Uh, when you look at feral dogs, plus livestock, plus the neglect and abuse we take in, and there's still challenges that come every day. It's not always easy. It's, it's expensive. It's a lot of medical cases, um, which I get not a lot of other people can do it because of that reason. A lot of people like to work with the dogs and I wasn't as steady with the dogs so I started to pay attention more to the livestock and you get to know their personalities, kind of fall in love with them, they get to know you. I got here probably about a year after it first started um, and just some of the challenges were trying to figure out kind of, you know, what we were, you know, going to do to make ourselves, you know, different from other rescues. Most of the animals we see don't have anywhere else to go. If they weren't here, they'd be put down or they'd still be getting abused. Um, the education we give, it's one of the things I had to learn coming into rescue. Um, you should know what's right and wrong. People don't. People just need more education and the education that we're giving on a wide scale is priceless. A lot of our volunteers, if you talk to them, came here because they were depressed, they went through major life changes that were upsetting, they, they needed some place to be their happy place, and this became it for a lot of people, right. and that's huge. It's just, it's a great feeling to know that, you know, you're doing something for them that, you know, uh, that might never have been possible for them to, you know, no, not, you know somebody else might never have given them a chance. Um, we're kind of some of a lot of the dogs' last hopes, um, and then just to see them progress the way they do. For me, I think it's the public, too. I mean, you have, we have a family here. We do everything for each other, just the friendship you get out of this. You know, you get to know everybody. You know, we go to events together, so we're not always just in the barn. There's a lot of social events, fundraisers that we do. Maria, our uh, paralyzed dog, who was a bait dog, has been one of our longest residents. She was intentionally paralyzed to use as bait in dog fighting, and she has a very important role here. She goes to schools, and we teach about not treating people differently because of disabilities, because she just wanted, she just wants to be petted, loved on, played with. And then we go to schools where dog fighting is pretty normal, and we teach about why it's wrong with her. So she was one of our first residents, and probably one of our most known and impactful residents. Uh, she will be a lifer at the barn. She does not want to live in a home. She does not get along with other animals. She's happy here. And her, schools are her mission. She loves it. Seven are blind horse. Um, horses can sunburn like humans. Think of an all white horse as someone who would be hypersensitive to the sun. Seven was left out year round with um, no shade, no food, no water. And her forehead split open completely and then became infected from sunburn. And it caused her to go blind. They had to completely remove one eye. And the other one, they did they surgery to restore slight vision for a little while. And so she's a lifer here. But she's comfortable. She has a handful of people she trusts because she wasn't treated well. She's healthy. And she's living a normal life as possible. I think the first thing for me to fall in love with the livestock was Jersey. He was a goat and his jaw was broken. So we had to cut his food up. You nurse him back to health and then you, you know, try to pick the best family for him. But that is the hard part for me. We bring in, um, we bring in a lot of, you know, just people that feel good about coming out here to help out. Um, I mean, it, just, to, just for the community itself, I mean, it just, um, just helps out everybody. What my son learns being here, um, the compassion that he learns, the hard work that he learns. Um, you know, my four-year-old, you can tell him to teach someone how to greet a feral dog and evolve. So the safety that he learns about greeting dogs in public. There's so many people that care about animals and worry about them and they want to try to do something, but they don't know where to start. Go to thedevotedbarn.org and fill out a volunteer application, and we will find out when you can come for orientation and hook you up with an orientator. 
Um, I always tell people you can do whatever you want, as little or as much.